I can't remember if I've done this before. <clears throat> I don't think this is going to go over very well. Alright. See my hair. See all, uh, how it is. <laughs> Wait, aren't you looking up in the ceiling? Fuck off. See how this is all light and fluffy? Yeah, for me, this is a problem. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's it's all nice and fluffy. I could just spend fucking days running my hands through my own hair. But I don't think everyone would appreciate textbook narcissism. So, why I've got olive oil in my restroom is quite simply because I put it in my hair. You don't need a VO5 hot oil treatment. And for me, just doing this. This keeps my hair workable for me. And yeah, it, it does act as a type of um, moisturizer. Keeps, uh, for me, I don't know about you. No, I don't know about you at all. But for me, it helps keep the pH balance on my scalp proper. It's just a thing with skin care or nail care you have to find a material whether you whether you have to go and get it heavily refined for uh, specialty purposes like medicated shampoos or whether you just know what's good for your own skin and scalp and fingernails and hair Through all the testing I've done with different products, different things, olive oil works best for me. <laughs> and ain't that the way that uh, everything works? You have to find what works best for you. Listen, you didn't get enough oil on. That one strand of clump of strands come down in my face. So anyway, that, that's always the way I've seen with <laughs> skin and hair care products. They never they never address the issue of everyone's individual skin and hair pH balances and hair type and protein configuration because that's a lot of what hair is very similar to your fingernails very similar a keratinous protein so if you get something that's too acidic and with 90% of people, there's a general range that you can just stick to and it's perfectly fine. <clears throat> but don't you find it the same way that most skin and hair care products, when they were first coming out, I don't know about now, I hadn't checked. But when they first came out, <clears throat> up until, well, what was it, uh, eight years ago, somewhere in there when I stopped checking on products, because I decided to settle for what I had, because it works for me. A 
it's all about getting it into my scalp for me. Yeah, you might notice I've got a bit of strands coming out. I'm not worried about that. Once your hair gets long enough, strands are going to snap off and fall out like that. It's like if they were coming out at the root, I would feel it. It would be painful because there's nerves wrapped around the roots of your hairs. Whether it's in your scalp or on your arm or on your legs or anywhere else on your body. Also, there's uh, gland-like pores right at the base of m most hairs. So that's why you need things that are pH balanced for your skin and hair. And that's why most of the time you're using an oil. think about it your skin naturally produces oil naturally so giving it something very similar to what's already being produced it just blends with the natural oils just a little bit better than other stuff such as water-based that'll just seep into the skin and be absorbed via osmosis or was it some sort of other osis ending word? I kind of forget. After a while of not being in the loop because I found what I need, some of that information just sort of goes by. Let's see here. How doable is this? Okay, nice, not bunching up, I'm not yanking my hair out of the scalp from knots, got a nice coating on most of the strands, Ooh, except for in the very back, very few strands came off. That's good. Decent product that's right for you. Proper mineral and pH balance will help keep your hair from breaking off. That way you don't wind up with a sink full of it. Because unless you feel it tugging at your scalp, it's weak strands of hair that are just snapping in half. <clears throat> at this point, I've got a decent enough bit of oil on my hair. Yep, and my scalp as well. Anything more would just be gratuitous in an attempt to keep my hair clustered together and out of my face. Look at that. Very few came out there. Very few of them. I'm getting a lot of, uh, a lot of dead skin off the scalp. That's good. Leave dead skin on your scalp and it'll irritate the rest of your scalp, leading to more flakes. Let me finish washing my hands and that'll be the end of this video.
my like or dislike, whichever you prefer. I'm just doing random things right now. Because I most certainly can't load up a game and start stream recording that. And I hate Twitch. Oh yeah, I need to stop repeating myself on that issue. Well, till next time. This is just me doing random stuff because I'm bored. <clears throat> I'm not going to use Twitch to stream record because it is literally horrible. So use the links in the description to go and finance my drug addiction in the form of caffeine and alcoholic beverages. And along the way I'll get some recording software, capture cards, whatnot, and a proper, a decent enough workable PC instead of a laptop which is several multiplicatives underpowered for what I want to do that way I can get back to doing the video game thing and and if you enjoy just random dipshittery on my part let me know I'll continue doing random dipshittery till next time fuck off